Welcome back. I don't mean to have these quick conversations with you guys every single video, but it's literally the only way I know how to start one without being like, the metaverse is gearing up to be the medium changing platform since the internet was created. At least, that's what Mark Zuckerberg would like you to believe. I just wanted to say that the final Valve Index video did super well its first 24 hours up, and to those who have subscribed from that video, I do greatly appreciate it. Alright, let's just start the- Obviously, every mother, son, daughter, or even grandpa is looking at Meta, wondering what they'll do next. What Meta did with the Quest 2 set an industry standard for what wireless VR should be. From ease of use to being able to use the headset from your phone, they've set the new minimum for every VR headset to come. Whether you're making a high-end headset or you're trying to compete somewhere in the middle, unless you're making a headset for business use, you're having to set a minimum quality that Meta has presented to us. But things weren't always so easy for Meta. The Quest 2 is obviously the Quest 2, meaning that there was a first. So today, we're talking about the Oculus Quest 1. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm just kidding. Maybe, maybe another time, but not this video. With tons of popularity comes the great big question of what's next? What is Project Cambria? Wait, that's the name of the vid- The unofficial name for Meta's next big headset is Project Cambria, a business headset focused on- Wait, wait, business- business focus? Wait, we've seen this before. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time Mark Zuckerberg's copied someone. Mark! He's wired in. Sorry? He's wired in. Is he? Yes. Project Cambria is a business headset focused on mixed reality, which for those unaware is the blending of both virtual and physical reality. Mark Zuckerberg even went on Facebook recently to demonstrate how this headset is supposed to work, and it's clear from its presentation that it's not gaming focused. You can see however that he's interacting with something that is both there and not there, using what I'm assuming to be the same amount of cameras for tracking as the Quest 2, which will give our Facebook overlords enough data to give sentience to their ad tracking robot army in case we ever want to delete our Instagram account. The tracking on this headset seems competent enough to have real world implications other than just sitting in your room alone playing Beat Saber. The demonstration shows an animal like creature that Mark interacts with while in mixed reality. We have seen something similar to this with mixed reality on the Quest 2 with the pass through home option you can see the menus of the Quest 2 while also peeking into your room. Not something to do a full comparison towards but it's it's still something okay it's just a small comparison you don't have to slam those fingers on your keyboard like I can slam my dick into your mouth. Oh no I hope I don't. <laughs> This one's a bit short, but not much has been said about its potential release date, but Mark Zuckerberg did say it would be releasing somewhere towards the end of this year, so hopefully sooner rather than later. I owned a Quest 2 two times, and while I would like a Quest 3 or Quest Pro announcement along with this headset that's primary focus is on gaming, I still think that this headset will have its place commercially as well. Sure, the lenses don't sit too close to your face, and there's not a foam pad blocking out other light, but we'll see. Speaking of not blocking out other light, it is kind of worrisome if Meta is pushing this headset towards more than just a VR headset for your room. If the lenses sit completely exposed, traveling with this headset seems like a huge hassle. This is a problem on any headset, but I can't exactly take my index outside for a quick go at some blade and sorcery. I think what will seal the deal when it comes to the great big meta takeover is an announcement of the next Quest headset while announcing Cambria's official name. Which I'm praying to Mark Zuckerberg himself that Cambria isn't in the Quest line. Sure, it could be the Quest Pro or something similar, but after the rebrand of Meta to Oculus or Oculus to Meta and the confusing mess of titles on the Oculus website, I just want Cambria to be in its own category and not placed next to the Quest 2 or Quest 3. I know this video is kind of short, but I do have some ideas after the whole Index finale came out, so be sure to look out for those. And uh, I, I know I said this already, but the Index video did super fucking well, and I did hit 300 subscribers, so uh, thank you for those who have, uh, who have uh, subscribed since that video. I was actually sitting at work. And I was checking YouTube to like see how my video was doing and I watched it go from like 150 and jump like hundreds of views in like an hour and I was like sitting there just like freaking out for a while so thank you to those who have watched it that video did get generally well received compared to the first one uh, but yeah for those new here uh, thank you for subscribing and I will see you all next week
That's quite big.